Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I am a full-time reseller on websites like eBay and Poshmark. You can find me on Instagram as El Ducha Thrift. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the button down below and give me a thumbs up on your way out today if you enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm finally back with a haul. I talked about doing this in a recent video. I've had a really bad cough. I think I'm gonna be fine, but we'll see. This is a haul from the Goodwill Out if you're not familiar with the Goodwill outlet, it is a pay by the pound Goodwill location. Mine charges, I think $1.89 plus tax for clothing. Not sure the price of accessories and shoes, but it's something similar to that. Okay, so I got primarily clothes. This is actually, I think this is two trips of clothing. <laughs> That's that tells you all you need to know about how long I've had this stuff and how long I've needed to just film a haul of it. I think we've got, I don't even know how many pounds are in this haul. I'll put it in like the description or wherever and you can see all that later. Um, but in the meantime, let's just get into the haul. I, it's primarily clothes, like I said, but I do have a couple of accessories like purses, shoes. I do have some vintage. I'll show that at the end, but I'm gonna start off with the accessories. Okay, so the first thing, which you probably saw in my thumbnail, is this Marc Jacobs purse. I was so excited to find this. So this actually wasn't in a bin that was like just accessories. It was in a clothing bin. I lifted up a bunch of clothes and I, I spotted it and I was like, like, you know, like a moth to a flame. I knew exactly what this was. I own one of these myself. I grabbed it and I put it in my cart and yeah, I'm so excited about it. It's a really beautiful, like evergreen. I, I wanna say it's like evergreen color. I don't know if that's an actual like shade, but it's this beautiful dark green. Condition wise, it's pretty good. The only stuff I would really note is just on the metal hardware here. There's just, you know, some scuffing and stuff. It is a flaw, but the outside of the bag looks amazing. Um, the inside as well. So this is super cute. Did I think about keeping it? Yeah, absolutely, I have thought about keeping it, but then I thought, okay, well, if you keep this one, you have to sell yours, which I might be okay with. I need to think about it a little bit longer, but anyways, super fun find. I know retail, I probably paid two to $300 for my bag of that new. The next item I found is I don't know, this rectangle of leather. So I actually looked it up. I haven't cleaned it yet. Uh, the brand is Line of Trade, which you can see stamped in there at the end. And it's one of those, it's been a while since I searched comps and everything, guys, so I'm winging it here. But it, it, you know, like you put it on your desk and you can write on it, you know, you put papers, whatever, it's for your desk. I need to take a leather wipe to this, which should clean it up pretty well. I just use the leather. I'll link it down below or something, but just those leather wipes that you can like use on your couch and stuff like that. You know, I do have the Doc Martens Wonder Balsam. If I really want to go all in on it, I could use that. But anyways, I, I want to say this originally retailed, I feel like for like 50 or 70, but if you know better and it's not that, please let me know. Okay, next item. I did not comp this. I just blindly bought it because it was new in the package and I thought tis the season for this sort of item. Yak tracks. <laughs> so I think this is to put some sort of, okay, it's spikeless, I was gonna say spike, on the bottom of your shoes so that you can walk in ice or snow, probably ice, I'm guessing, but you know, they're new in the box, so I wasn't not gonna grab them. I don't even know how much they sell for, guys, but I thought I was gonna say not for resale there, but it says not for indoor use. Okay, next item I was gonna show you is <laughs> this, Lug. So I feel like I've heard of the brand lug before and I, again I kind of blindly grabbed this one. Comps on this didn't look too crazy. I saw people had them listed for maybe like 30 which is like you know that's okay um, but it's rummy. It's like a rummy game in here which I've never played that game before so I'm saying it in a way where I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a rummy board game but it's all new in package and I thought you know new items are great to have on hand in quarter four of the year because people are purchasing gifts for others and traditionally it is not uh, maybe widespread been thought to purchase pre-owned items as gifts for other people. And so they're generally looking for new items. I hope that changes and that people do purchase pre-owned gifts for people because why not? If it's, if you know, it's if it's cool, if it's fine, you know, then let's do it. Okay, where did I put the shoes? Oh, they're here. Okay, so there's not many shoes. There's only a few. So let me get through them real quick so I can show you the clothes. So I did kind of give these a wash or wipe down or whatever, but they're not perfect, let's be honest. I picked up some bogs because I always pick up bogs. Um, they're just a great, expensive kids winter shoe. These probably retailed, if I'm gonna guess, for at least $80. 
I say that because I have purchased them from my son before and they were at least $80. And just depending on, I think, you know, the degrees that they go down um, probably makes them more and more expensive. Don't quote me on that. Uh, and they're just easy to spot. It's generally just rubber, so they're kind of easy to clean. The only things that I would just recommend if you're gonna purchase these for resale is to check the bottoms. This one's not that bad, but you can see here there is some wear, but I have seen heels that are totally worn off there. Check the sides as well, the fronts, all different areas. Again, this one is a little interesting, but it's not totally worn off. I mean, it's it's just missing the ridges on this one. So just something to look for when you are picking them up. Don't get too excited. Make sure to just check them. Don't get too excited and be me. Um, but like I said, I've seen them in worse condition than those. And these ones, just if you're curious, these are a size 13. I say that because sometimes people are like, I wanna buy those from you. The resale on them tends to be good, especially at the right time of the year. You're probably looking at, again, depending on condition, 20 to $40, possibly more. Let's see what else. Oh, you know, I should have had these like listed last week. <sighs> Maybe I can get them listed really quick today. <laughs> this is a pair of Juicy Couture flip flops and I actually cleaned these up. They looked like flip flops. Okay. Let's just say that they looked like flip flops. You could definitely see, you know, wear on them. However, I took a magic eraser sponge to them. I actually think I used these off brand ones that I purchased in bulk that I thought sucked, but came in clutch for these flip-flops. I took that and it cleaned it off pretty nicely. The bottoms, it did a pretty good job. Maybe I could have detailed it a little bit more. I think it just like up close like that. See, it doesn't look so bad. It's just the lighting is like kind of funky. They clean up really nicely. Oh, I, the reason I'm saying I should have had these listed like a week ago is because depending on when I publish this video, Halloween is coming up and I've seen that there's like Y2K costumes people are wearing. And of course, Juicy Couture velour pants are part of that costume. So anyways, I don't blame them. That's a, It was a thing. So, but these are actually just, they're cute. Let's just say it. They're fun with the rhinestones. That's probably my elder millennial speaking. The sizing on these is, I don't know. Oh, it says L. I'm guessing that means large. So there's those. Okay. Um, what do I think they'll sell for? I honestly have no idea. I just saw them and I was like, rhinestones. And then bye-bye. Okay, these I should try on and keep for myself. I don't know if I'll do it. Okay, they're a pair of Crocs and they're little ankle boots. These will be great rain boots. I don't know if they market them as a rain boot, but hello, it's a Croc, it's rubber. There's no venting like some Crocs do have. Um, the only thing I would say is that this uh, stretch paneling here. I wouldn't wear this necessarily in snow because that's not gonna keep you warm, but as a little rain boot, that would be nice. They are a women's size 11. I'm a 10, but I've got wide feet, so sometimes it might equal an 11. Should I try them on? I don't know, but definitely just a seasonal item, so that's why I picked them up. And then, last but not least, speaking of rubber shoes, wow, this was just like the rubber shoe haul, um, is a pair of Birkenstocks. And I can't remember what this model is called, uh, but it, you know, it's the ones where they're not leather, they're rubber. So these cleaned up pretty nicely. There was some wrinkling, uh, which happens in a lot of times with sneakers uh, or a shoe like this. And if you get that wrinkling on there, you can actually just take a hair dryer on its highest setting or a heat gun if you have one like, hey, look, I have one here, let me grab it. A heat gun like this or a larger one, if you like. Why do I prefer a heat gun over a hair dryer? It's a targeted area, they do get a little bit hotter, but you don't have to spend money on it if you don't want to. So anyways, uh, Birkenstocks and sneakers and stuff, you can blow heat on them and then it'll actually take out that wrinkle that gets created just by your body weight pushing down on this. And why would you wanna do that? <clears throat> it just makes for a nicer photo when you're photographing the item. Um, they do have some wear here where the, what do they call that? The toe bed would be on the other side and a little bit at the heel. So again, just things to watch out for when you're purchasing. These ones aren't too bad. It's just a little bit of wear there, but it doesn't really affect the sides. These ones did have some tearing actually right here. You can see I glued it. So I was gonna kind of go over these again because some of my glue got on the toe bed. That's the toe bed. This would be uh, the ball, the ball of your foot. Yeah, right? Uh, some glue got there, so I was gonna try and wipe it off, 
but my glue, so you can see it, it looks split there, but I glued it back together. Like you're not getting that apart. It's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit of effort. Do I recommend this glue? Cause sometimes people ask me like, what, what's the name of the shoe glue that you use? Um, I don't know, it works on these. So if you're curious, I guess I'll link it down below. But anyways, um, yeah, it's not Birkenstock season <laughs> necessarily, unless you have the covered clog style that are suede. Yeah, those are, it's definitely Birkenstock season for those. But anyways, these are size 38 and you know, I'll get them listed and we'll see what we get for them. I'm not necessarily expecting a ton of money given the flaws. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't see those flaws when I initially got them. So there's that. Okay, uh, where to start with the haul? Okay, um, I, I'll grab this because it's my favorite color, purple. Um, they're kind of purpley lavender. These are a pair of Theory pants. I'm guessing these are, yeah, a women's size 10. And they're the, what style? HW straight pant chino ST dot wash. That's what I actually like about Theory is that they will put uh, the style names on the tag. So it makes it a little bit nicer. They do kind of look cropped. I don't know, they're cute. I don't know who's getting rid of these cause I think it's like a newer style of theirs, but that's okay, we'll sell them. Uh, I like picking up Theory. Some people maybe don't like picking up brands like Theory or Vents. I do because I can find them at the bins. And so if they definitely sell for more than what I paid for them, I've made a profit <clears throat> minus all of my costs <laughs> as, I, as I stand here in my warehouse. So, okay, this is, I already know what it is. It's a Lafayette skirt. And the reason I already know what it is, I'll tell you in one second. Lafayette 148, it is a size 16 skirt. Sorry, it's a little wrinkly there because I've been sitting in my office, like I said. Um, so this was more orangey because it was just really faded uh, before I got my hands on it. And you guys know I'm a broken record about that Pearwall product. So I've generally, in general, talked about the one for darker fabrics. However, they make a red bottle and a white bottle. And I told you guys I would get back to you on my thoughts on them. So here's like the quick thoughts. I have been using, <clears throat> excuse me, the red bottle without significant results. Uh, that maybe just kind of wowed me on this skirt. Yes. Okay. So the skirt, like I said, it was kind of orangey. Now it's red. So I'm definitely happy with that. It's not a dye. You can add it to any garment that has color. So I'll wash yellows, greens, anything like that. But on this skirt specifically, that's where I saw the most impact. So I recommend it in terms of the white bottle. I don't know yet. I'm not there yet. I, I can't recommend that one fully. So if you have tried the white bottle and you like it, please share with the class down below. Let us know how it goes. Okay. Next item is in some beat condition, but you guys already know, once you see the tag icebreaker, I'm going to pick it up. So icebreaker Merino body fit 200. So Merino being Merino wool. This is a size large women's half or quarter zip pullover. And it's got some Swiss cheese on it. Let's be honest with you. Like to the point, look here, somebody stitched. Do you see all those stitches there? Somebody stitched all of the holes close. There's some on the back right? They didn't get to all the holes. There's some on the neck. There are quite a few holes on this. And <clears throat> this further proves what I've talked about before, which with nice wool products like Smart Wool, Icebreaker, etc., people don't mind if it has holes. I mean, this person stitched up the holes and was continuing to wear it. So uh, just food for thought. So anyways, it's not going to deter <clears throat> me from purchasing it because I do believe that there is still some resale and life left in it. And people are generally <clears throat> wearing this as a base layer. So underneath their coats or snowboard or ski outfits or whatever it might be, camping, hiking, whatever it is, they don't really care what it looks like. The little holes don't matter. I mean, unless the whole thing was a hole, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, next is, I'm like, wait, I don't think this is supposed to be in this pile. <laughs> this is a, actually a return I have to make for some clothing I purchased. But anyway, it was a pair of old Navy jeans. You're not interested in hearing about that. Okay, here are, here is a cool pullover. This is a size large and I think it's a men's, maybe a women's actually, I can't tell. Again, I think this is wool, it feels like wool. 
Nope, it's 100% polyester. So sometimes a way to figure out if a garment is men's or women's is to look at the logo on the back here. Sometimes the cool logo will be shaped as a heart if it's a women's piece. I think this one's a men's. I'm just guessing. That's my thought. Because if it was a women's large, it just looks like it would fit me. And I'm like, mm, I don't think the women's large would fit me. So anyways, I do like picking up cool. It's a nice outdoor brand, not too difficult to find. And retails for quite a bit. Okay, here is an Eileen Fisher uh, woman skirt. This is a size one X. It's a knit skirt, pencil style. Sorry, you can see all that dust roaming around in here. You're probably at some point gonna start to see a batch of all black garments and that's because I washed it all with the pear wall. So it's kind of got this nice, rich, dark black. But anyways, um, yeah, I like picking up Eileen Fisher too. Um, I feel like I've heard that you can actually take Eileen Fisher products back to the store and I don't know if they give you store credit. I've never done that. Let me know if you've done that. I've heard about people doing that. Um, I mean, I think it's great for, you know, for them to encourage people to recycle their products and I'm guessing that they are hoping that they use those textiles again to create new garments. Uh, here is a pair of Seven for All Mankind jeans and these are a velvety jean. I thought that these would be nice because as we're entering holiday season, people are looking for holiday type wear. So if it's not going to be like a formal dress or something like that, I feel like a black velvet pant falls into holiday wear category. Tell me if you disagree with that. Um, but yeah, I've definitely seen many a person wear black velvet pants at a holiday event. Uh, these are a size 28. <clears throat> okay. What else do we have here? These look like leggings. Okay, another Eileen Fisher item. Uh, these are a size PS, which is gonna be a petite small. And yeah, it's just a pair of black Eileen Fisher leggings, nothing too special. Um, there is pilling here in the crotch, so I haven't used my depiller, but I will. This is what mine looks like. Oh, I think a bunch of this stuff just came out of me. <laughs> but anyways, I'll set that to the side because I know I have at least a couple of pairs of leggings that I need to deep pill. <clears throat> okay, next item is, I think this is a Zara dress and it's really pretty. And of course I didn't tie the straps, but you'll get an idea of it. Look at it. Okay, so there's the top. You gotta tie the straps there. And then we're gonna go back a little. Ooh, and it's this really pretty, like neutral, tan, beige, stone, brown. I'm trying to think of all the words that I would use to describe it. Definitely not the season for it, but I do sell items all year round, regardless of the season, just because people who purchase from me, especially on eBay, I do use the global shipping program. So you can be in Australia and purchase something and, or whatever countries are in the global shipping program. Let me just say that because I don't know any of them off the top of my head. But yeah, you could be anywhere in the world and be purchasing clothes on eBay. Next item is the brand Bowden. I like picking up Bowden. People do really like their pieces. This is a size US 12 and yeah, it's cute. It's like art teacher chic, I feel like. I feel like my camera is like a little bit high and I kind of want to move it down. There we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I feel like I don't have to just like raise my arms. I don't even know if that did anything. Anyways, uh, the nice part <clears throat> about Bowden pieces is that on the care tag on the inside is the style number. So it makes looking up the style name and all of the information on the garment a little bit easier. Okay, next is a pair of page jeans. You know, you can always spot them a mile away because they have those little notches on the back pocket there. Uh, I believe these are an older style of page jeans just because of that logo there. These are a size 31 and they're in good condition. So, oh wait. Oh, well, I was gonna say, except for the hole here, but that hole looks intentional because look, they. They like stitch, I don't know. We'll find out if that's intentional, so to be determined. Okay, next item is an Athleta top. Here it is. I think this is an older style Athleta piece, not crazy old, but definitely older. It's a size medium, love selling Athleta. It's just a personal favorite brand of mine, but I think they make really nice pieces as well. Okay, 
Next is this pair of Adriano Goldschmied, am I pronouncing it correctly, um, jeans. These are the legging ankle, the super skinny ankle. Uh, they're a size 31R, which is a good size. And yeah, lots of distressing and paint and stuff. And I, at first at the bins, I was like, um, is this supposed to be like that? <clears throat> then I saw the bottoms with the raw hem and I, I just thought, yeah, I think it is supposed to be like that. So I might cut off some of these strings though. It's a little bit excessive. And you know, sometimes after you wash a pair of jeans with like the raw hem and everything, it, the fraying gets a little out of control. Okay, what are you? Oh, I think I'm, this is like American Eagle. Let me see. Airy, yeah. So this is Airy, which is American Eagle's lounge active sleepwear brand. It's a size small and it's just a black jumpsuit, but it's just real cute. So I had to grab it. And I know some people, people who like Airy, feel how I feel about Athleta. Like they're really into it and, you know, they're looking for certain pieces. So, anyways. I grabbed that. It's not gonna be a huge sale, but I mean, I don't think it is, but I'm okay with them. What's this? Okay, <laughs> this is another Eileen Fisher piece, another pair of leggings. These are a size small. So in general, I find that when shopping at the outlet, when there's one, there's two, where there's two, there's three, where there's three, there's four. So when you're looking in a bin and you find like a really good item, whatever that means to you, right? Or just an item you get excited about, keep digging in that spot you might find another one from that same brand, especially if it's raw donations. That means you're looking through a pile of, you know, clothes that somebody just donated and likely you're gonna find maybe more sizes or more just from that brand, whatever the case might be. <clears throat> okay, what is this? It's been so long, this is all new to me. Okay, this is the brand PJ Salvage. I actually get this, I don't wanna say a lot, but a little bit in liquidation and I don't know that it retails for a lot, but I thought it was a really cute piece. It's a size US large. And again, it's just like a pajama. <clears throat> I call these like the flying squirrel jumpsuit outfits because it's not like a full jumpsuit. It's just really baggy in the waist or waist and hips area. Flying squirrel. Do you know what I'm talking about? Does that make sense to you? <sighs> I'm moving stuff around here. <clears throat> I'm already losing my desk space. <sighs> We've got like a bunch more stuff. Okay, Madewell top, size small. Again, another great brand that has the style number printed on the care tag. I thought this was a cute piece. And again, Madewell would be one of those ones at the bins too, where I'd be like, where there's one, there's two, or there's two, there's three, etc." cetera. Uh, Lou and Gray, I don't always pick this up and I don't always leave it behind either, but this piece uh, was true to its name. It says Signature Soft and these are a crazy soft super duper soft like sweat jogger leggings they're size medium and i thought the color was actually really pretty too it's this i don't know what you want to call it marigold that's why i always default to and say marigold all right next i have oh okay <laughs> the, this is the brand grayson and it's a size two which is vanity sizing so i'm gonna guess it's maybe a small or an extra small and it's a midi length style dress I would argue it's a lag and look style dress, but one step further to that, um, I didn't know Grayson was that good of a brand and I think I have like been passing it up. Oops. Cause I looked up comps cause I was like, when I first saw it, I was like, mm, I don't know. I'm not, mm, I'm not interested in picking that dress up necessarily. And then I looked up comps and I was like, wait a minute, that's what this brand sells for. Oh no. <laughs> I think I've been passing it up. So oops. Thanks for putting up with my coughing guys. You know, I'm trying not to trying to hold them in, but they come out. So anyways, this is a pair of Fabletics leggings. They're bright bubblegum pink. They were just so cute. They are the power hold style. The only thing that sucks is that there's no size tag. Ugh. And I hate that Fabletics has no indication of the size in some of their styles of leggings. Uh, if you know where there could be any hint of a size, please let me know because otherwise I always just have to make estimations um, and put that size estimation in the description. And of course we give the measurements and everything too. But you know, I would love to just feel one way or the other definitively about it. Okay, next up, I'm pretty sure this is a Torrid bra. I thought I was gonna keep it. So it's funny that I brought it here. 
but I, maybe I just brought it to show you guys. Um, let's see, is it Torrid? Where is the tag? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Torrid Curve. It's a size one, which is their vanity sizing. So it's like <clears throat> the equivalent of an <clears throat> extra large or one X. And anyways, there were two of these. I don't know where the other one is because everything should be kind of here together. The other one I think has a little bit of pilling on it. I thought about just keeping them for me. So maybe I'll put it in a pile over here. <laughs> But I don't know, because they're like heavily ribbed on the outside. So I'm like, is that going to annoy me? Like wearing something really ribbed. Maybe it's meant to just work out in or something like that. So I, I don't know. That doesn't have enough uh, top control for me for a workout. But anyways, moving on. Uh, I've got a pair of acne jeans here. So that's a good brand. They do sell for quite a bit of money. And that's what the tag on the back looks like. That's what the tag on the inside looks like. It's kind of hard to see. I think I've only thrifted acne jeans a couple of times. Here's the tag on the inside, 26 slash 32. And I don't know what style these are, but I swear I've sold one of a pair of jeans from this brand that were just busted. But I was just so excited to find them for once at the outlet that I just picked them up anyways. That I was like, you know what? Maybe somebody will want to fix them. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I sold them, but now I'm questioning myself. Okay, next is the brand Everlane. That's what the tag looks like. Cute little pair of shorty shorts. Oh, they're a size four. Everlane's just one of those brands for me, and I'm sure you guys as well, that it's just like, yep, yeah, it's gonna sell. I don't have to worry about it. If I buy it, it's gonna sell. Okay, this is a Zara denim jacket, and the only there's a bummer on here. There's like a rust spot somewhere on here. Maybe it's right there. I can't see it because of my lighting right now, but I'm still gonna list it and somebody else can try and stain treat it do whatever they want to it it's a size small um but I just feel like a denim jacket kind of never goes out of style I feel like it's one of those things that if you have like a capsule wardrobe a denim jacket would be in it what do you think denim jacket yes okay next I have a pair of seven for all mankind jeans these are the a pocket which is not as popular <clears throat> as the dojo style which is going to be that it looks like a seven but anyways, I still got them. They're the obviously blue stitching. They, I've seen them in green. I've seen them in pink, you know, the stitching. Anyway, so this is a little bit less aggressive. So I don't know if that'll interest anybody, but I feel like for me, the Dojo and the A Pocket are so Y2K because I'm like, I, I know what I had and what I wanted back in those early years. And it was a pair of seven for all mankind <coughs> jeans. So those are size 27. Okay, next is another theory item. So I'm not sure if this is a men's or a women's, but I think it's a men's. It's a size XL, like a waffle knit jacket. It could probably fit me, but I think this is a men's. I can definitely just look it up on the style tag on the inside. Oh no, the jeans fell. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't have much, much more to say about it than that. Oops, I dropped something. Okay, what are those jeans? Oh, the, that's the return I was telling you guys I have to make. Okay, this is a pair of, this is, this is a jacket. You see, and I'm not gonna edit my video. I'm not gonna edit this video, so we're just gonna roll with it. This is a Crew Cuts kids jacket, and it's a size 12. And I was, you know, initially when I grabbed it, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to sell for that much money. I don't know. I didn't check comps. But to be honest with you, it's in such nice condition, with the exception of these hairs on it, which it just needs to be lint rolled. <clears throat> it's in such nice condition that I was like, no, I don't want to just let this thing die at the bins. I may, I may, 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 which I wish I had it over here, take my fleece comb to this or, you know what I mean, garment comb that I've talked about in the past. I don't think I have one over here to show you guys. No, I don't have one at this station. It's all across the way from me. I can see it. But anyways, um, it revives the fleece on these sort of coats. Really nice. So I'm going to probably put a little more effort into it than I should, but sometimes you just take on a little project because you're like, you know what? This is fun and it's cute and I want this to sell and have a better home. I'm going to pull my hair back because I'm starting to get overheated, guys. Okay, next item. Lululemon headband. Why not? I saw it in the bin. I'm not going to not sell this. So yeah, I grabbed it. It's reversible too. So there's that. 
easy to photograph. Um, next item, I think this is Outdoor Voices. It's a super cute bra, sports bra of theirs. I've never seen a bra of theirs before because I've never owned one. There's the tag on the inside. This brand like really had a moment a couple years ago, but I think they've had like growth issues or something. Like maybe they grew too fast. I feel like I've heard that, but somebody chime in. I feel like I've heard like an interview with the person who started it, but don't, you know, don't take that as the hard and fast rule about outdoor vo voices. I don't know what resale looks like. Again, like at one point a few years ago, I think resale for it was probably really good. I don't know what it's at today. Okay, next item that I'm super stoked about. So the, like I said, this was like two bins trips. The time, second time that I went, I saw my friend Francis, who is also here on YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> and we got to chat for a while at the bins, which is so fun. Always so nice to see her. And we were digging through this bin and I was like, oh my gosh, can I have that? It's really cute. And I, she was like, yes, you can. So thank you, Francis, for letting me take this. Um, but it is a, well, I mean, it looks like Mickey Mouse, right? Super cute. Um, but it's Disney's Mickey Mouse <clears throat> collaboration with Rain Spooner. So they do collaborations with them. They'll do men's shirts. I don't know if they do women's clothing at all, but this is a kid's dress. This is so darn cute. It's a size eight. How fun is this? It's just like little Hawaiian tropical postcard type print. I love it. Like, I don't even want to sell it because I'm just like a Disney collector. I'm a Disney nerd. If you're new to my channel, find that out now. <clears throat> okay, next item is the brand, oh, it's Athletic Girl. I don't know, I probably shouldn't have picked it up, but I did. Here we are. It's a size large. It's super soft. Like if, you know, if you have a daughter or somebody in your life who wears a size 12 who would wanna buy this, you know, hit me up. It's so cute. It's just, <clears throat> has that texture where it looks like it's starting to pill. I don't think my fabric shaver is gonna help it that much. So we'll list it anyway, it's fine. It's so cute and it's so soft. Okay, uh, there was a couple of more bras in here. When there's one, there's two. So Victoria's Sport bras, they're in great condition. Yeah, these are in really great condition. Are they both the same size? I'm sure they are. They're from the same person, I'm sure. 34D and 34D. I don't know if I wanna list them as a lot or separately. I feel like I should list these separately because somebody who wants one might not want two, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, I also found this bra, which is a Torrid bra and it's new with tags. So I found quite a bit of Torrid, I think, in this haul. Like I said, where there's one, there's two. Oh, maybe that's a haul I haven't filmed yet. It all blends together, guys. Uh, this originally sold for $54.50 and it's a 40B. So, yep. Um, what else do we have? That's the thing with Torrid stuff is that their stuff retails for quite a bit of money. So that's why I think retail or resale is like sometimes not that bad on some of their pieces. Again, that doesn't apply to all their pieces. Okay, this next item is a big old midi dress that I don't want to totally unravel. But here's what it looks like. <laughs> it's Bryn Walker. So this is another great lag and look brand. That's what it looks like. That's what the tag looks like. And if you're ever like, where's the size tag on these? You gotta lift it up. The size tag is under there. Um, I believe Bryn Walker, it's maybe a Seattle company. Somebody let me know, but it's just this beautiful seafoam colored uh, linen dress. Okay, I'm gonna put this, ah, all the bras are about to jump. Okay set that there. This is the brand. Oh, <clears throat> I picked this up and I didn't comp it. So here's my, I didn't comp for the day. Uh, this is Mata Traders. It said 95% organic cotton, 5% spandex, and it's a size 2X. So I was like, oh, maybe this is something good. And I didn't comp it. And it's not as good as I <clears throat> would have hoped. So, you know, you live and you learn, but we'll still sell it because you know, it's a cute two X dress. This piece, okay, this is speaking of Francis, I was digging in a bin and I lift this up and I was like, what is this? Like, this looks, you know, this looks like it's something. And then I look at the tag and I was like, oh my gosh. Now I could have just looked up the RN number, which is gonna be on here. You can go to rn.ftc.gov. 
And you can look up the RN number to find out what the brand is, if the tag has been cut out. Uh, but anyways, I showed it to Francis and I was like, Francis, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I know this tag looks familiar. And she's like, you're right, it does. And she thought about it for a second. She's like, it's soft surroundings. I trusted her. I was like, you know what? You're right. I'm pretty sure that's it. So I got it. I did get it home, checked it. It is soft surroundings. So anyways, <clears throat> another brand I like picking up just because they do put style numbers on that inside tag and soft surroundings people love that brand so don't sleep on it here is that other torrid bra this one's green this one like i said there was some pilling but maybe i have a fabric shaver at my desk so i think i depilled it already but i don't know if i'm gonna keep it i, I honestly don't know okay next what's okay no that's buried i can't grab it yet oh my gosh this is like all pushed down in here <laughs> <laughs> the stuff was like in my way in my office and I yeah made a mess of my life in there Eileen Fisher t-shirt size large again um you know it's just a basic t-shirt but you know whether it sells on Poshmark I don't know seven dollar shipping that's a lot for a t-shirt but on eBay I don't have to ask that much for shipping because you set your own shipping <clears throat> uh, Athleta skirt, again, older tag Athleta. This is a size extra small. Actually, it's shorts, I lied. They're real cute though. Next is another Athleta piece. So this is their newer tag. So if you wanna know what the Athleta tag looks like now, that's what it looks like. This one's an extra small petite. So again, probably the same person's clothing because that last piece was extra small, this extra small. When there's one, there's two. Okay, next we have, oh, I think this is, I already knew like when I saw it in the bin, I was like, Lily Pulitzer. And I was stoked to see that it's not Lily Pulitzer for Target, which not that there's anything wrong with that, but let's be honest, there's just a difference in what pricing you're gonna be able to ask of that item. So this is a cute little romper, I think. We can say it's not the season for it, but you know, a lot of people, they fly south for the winter time or they take you know christmas vacation in hawaii or whatever the case might be so you know one thing i've learned in life is never prejudge a customer's buying power you don't know what people necessarily are, will or won't buy at certain times all right next we've got a lululemon tank super cute i don't know the sizing on this one but if you look on the inside here at the bottom they actually print the sizing information in here. I think maybe this is a men's, but I'm not sure. What is it? Visualize your victory, realize your goals, believe in yourself, large. <laughs> I think this says large right there. Do you see that? Okay, there it is. I don't know if it's a men's or women's, like I said. Somebody let me know. I feel like the men's, don't they do the writing on the inside hem like this one? That might not be true. <clears throat> if you're not new to my channel, you've heard me talk about this brand before, Carrots. Um, these are just riding breeches and riding breeches tend to sell pretty well for me. I have a good experience with them. Usually they'll go from, I don't know, 20 to 40 bucks. Just depends. <clears throat> and what is this item? It was two items, it's two items in one. Oh, okay, so I saw this in the bin and I was like, yoink, I already know what that is. So that's gonna be Free People. This is their Intimately line, I believe. Yep, or no, Movement, I, whatever. Free People Movement. So sometimes it can be a benefit if you just know certain logos because other people might see that and be like, I don't know what that is. They're just gonna quickly pass by it. Size extra small, this is super soft. Movement is their activewear line, but it's a hoodie and this drawstring needs to be saved. I'm not gonna do it here on camera because it's gonna take me too long. <laughs> okay, next I have a pair of Lululemon. These are some shorty shorts and possibly somewhere in here, I'm looking in the pockets at the waistband, pockets at the waistband, no, <laughs> or the back pocket here. And this will tell us the size. So this is a size four. Sometimes if you're lucky, that size dot will also have the style number printed around it in a circle. That's not the case with that one. And I know it has something to do with when the item, uh, you know, when it was released or whatever, like the year. 
Okay, next is another Lululemon piece. So this one does have the CVS receipt still on it. This is a size eight and yeah, it's a super cute purple top, super lightweight. Oh my gosh, kind of cropped, but you know, if you're going on a run, this might feel nice to wear. Okay, next. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so part of my <laughs> picking up Y2K type pieces. I did pick up this Juicy Couture little blazer jacket thing. I don't know. I hummed and hawed over whether, hemmed and hawed over whether I should have picked this up or not. It's a size eight. It's got this lime green color. It's, it's very much love me or hate me. You're not gonna feel, you're only gonna feel one way or the other about that item. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what it sells for. Uh, and you know, one thing I did wonder is, didn't Kohl's collab with Juicy Couture at some point? Somebody let me know because if that's the case and that's not like true Juicy Couture, it definitely will affect the resale value on it. Um, but yeah, somebody let me know. I don't know why I feel like, I feel like Kohl's did. All right, next is, oh, this is interesting. It says Wayward Fancies, E Shakti, and then Custom. So I am familiar with E Shakti as a brand. They make dresses, really beautiful custom dresses. I don't know what Wayward Fancies is. Not sure if that's some sort of collaboration or what the case is or just a different line of dresses for them. Um, but yeah, so I picked this up. The custom part refers to, you can go on their website and put in your measurements and pick a style dress that you like, pockets, no pockets, belt, cap sleeve, whatever, like custom. <laughs> it's custom, it's a custom dress for you. So, uh, you know, for a reseller, what do you do with a dress that says custom on it? Well, you have to take a lot of measurements and make a size estimation and put that in there that, you know, measures like an XL or whatever the case might be, and then give, give detailed measurements to the customer for it. So, <clears throat> but not everybody's comfortable with working with inventory that doesn't have a size on it. And I totally understand that. Uh, this is a cutter and buck pullover. I did not, this is men's. I didn't realize, am I remembering this correctly? Is Cutter and Book kind of expensive? Why do I feel like I saw something with their MSRP on it recently and I was thinking to myself, what? <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I grabbed this. See, I'm too little too late on this. Ugh. But it's a Seattle Mariners men's pullover. And up until a few weeks ago, the Mariners were doing really well. I'm pretty sure they were like in the playoffs or something. Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassing myself here. And they played like a game that went into extra innings, but like crazy long extra innings. I think the game went on for like, I don't even know, like eight hours or something. Is that wrong? Some, I know one of you will chime in here and tell me, and I appreciate you for that. So a few weeks ago, if I had gotten my act together and listed that, <laughs> that probably would have sold for more than what it's gonna sell for now, but that's okay. You know what? If you're not a fair weather fan, then you're, you'd still be willing to buy it. <clears throat> okay, next is a pair of made well pull on wide leg pants. It's kind of like a, I don't know, what do you call it? Like a faux denim. It's not denim, um, but they're real cute. These style pants, I love them. I don't want to call it a gaucho. Is it a gaucho pant? I love this style pant, but what's my butt with this? But they don't look cute on me. I don't think they look cute on me. I don't think I have the right body type for it. I think my legs are just. Maybe when I'm a little bit skinnier. Like I was just about to say, my legs look too chubby in it. But yeah, maybe when I'm a little bit skinnier, my calves don't look as big. That's, you know, that's my own personal gripe about myself. We all have our own insecurities. Okay, next item is uh, something silk. This is totally beautiful. Oh, it's a J. Crew dress. And this is a size two. You know, some J. Crew pieces, like, first off, J. Crew is not cheap. It's still not cheap. Even if we think it's oversaturated, it's still not cheap. Um, some of their pieces sell for a lot of money. So, you know, be picky, pick up what works for you. And this is from holiday 2016, style number and everything is on the inside care tag here. But this is silk and it's in great condition. I think my initial concern with this was gonna be <clears throat> the armpits just because, because it is silk and because it is this dark, the primary color is black on here, that we're gonna have some gnarly deodorant markings on the inside here. But whoever wore this, you know, was looking out for the reseller. They made sure to wear the 
spray aerosol can <laughs> or gel deodorant so that we wouldn't have any white flaking. Appreciate you so much. It's a beautiful dress and we're gonna get it rehomed to the next person. Okay, next item. Okay, this, this one's interesting. So I saw this beautiful print in the bins. So cute with the cherries on here. And I thought to myself, when I saw the tag, I go, yeah, I think this is a good brand. Even though this doesn't, it didn't feel initially like the best quality, but it's the brand Intermix. I looked up this piece specifically. Yeah, it's definitely an expensive brand. This is a size zero. It is 100% silk, but I'm not gonna lie. The silk on this doesn't feel as nice. Does the zipper work? It's getting a little stuck here. I'm not gonna mess with it too much on camera because I wanna deal with it later. That's probably why it was at the bins. But anyways, that's fixable. The silk on this does not feel as nice as that J. Crew dress, which just goes to show you that price doesn't always, you know, eh, intermix. You're maybe not going to find that brand as often as you're going to find J. Crew. So, oversaturation of your brand, you might still be using better quality textiles at other brand, but it doesn't matter. You guys get the point I'm trying to make. It is uh what time is it actually i think it's like five yeah it's like five o'clock in the evening so my brain is like a little bit fried i'm not gonna lie but it's this really cute cherry jumpsuit and so yeah intermix good thing i looked it up because i wasn't sure at first i think i've only thrifted that brand once okay next piece i have is another j crew so that one was like the black tag this one's the white and i almost feel like is this for formal wear or a wedding it's a size six, but it's again, just another beautiful piece with this lace overlay. It's in really nice condition. So, you know, I picked it up. Cause again, just thinking about holiday time and people are gonna wanna dress up and have fun, specific things to wear. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep myself going here. guys. <laughs> How, what are we at? 47 minutes? Oh my gosh. We might not get the full haul in here. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but that's okay because I actually have more stuff at home so it, we can just keep combining and this will become like the big rubber band ball of hauls. Rubber band ball haul. I like it. But now it's only an inside joke. For the people who stay at the 47 minute mark, you now know the rubber band haul <laughs> ball haul joke. Okay, this is gonna, this is a bad tongue twister. You say it at home. Rubber band ball haul, okay? Say it 10 times fast, okay? It was easy that first time. It's not easy to say that many times. Okay, smart wool. We talked about this earlier. I like icebreaker. I also like smart wool. I also like Ibex. Okay, those are some of the brands that I've placed in my trifecta. So this is smart wool and it's a size medium. I think this is a men's, just given kind of the size of it. And it's in pretty good condition other than needing to be lint rolled. That is gonna sell for, you know, some, some brands just hold that high MSRP original MSRP longer than others. And I feel like outdoor wear, good outdoor wear, they they tend to lead the pack on that one. <clears throat> this is the brand Untuck It. <clears throat> I never could find this brand and all of a sudden I found two pieces in the past few months. So let's keep on that because I hear it's a great brand. I say that like that because clearly I haven't listed the other piece yet, oops. So is that a men's piece or women's? I don't know, I didn't look at it that closely. <laughs> Who sells on Tuckett here? I say here, there's nobody else here. <laughs> okay, you guys can tell I'm kind of starting to like lose it a little bit. Uh, Nike, dry fit, top. This one's really cute with the mesh sleeves. So fun. Size, medium. Okay, put that there. What's next? Oh, this is fun. Rebecca Taylor, silk, button down blouse. Not button down, just V-neck. Super cute, um, kind of has like a faded look to it, but I think that is just the natural coloring of this because I was worried, I was like, great. Again, we're gonna have another armpit issue with silk. No, it's in great condition. And this is a size, I can't read it, but I think it says a two. So there's that. And I think I'll finish this bag and I've gotta leave the other stuff for another day. I'm so sorry. No, you know what? I'm not going to finish this bag. I'm going to do the vintage because anybody who like wanted to stay for vintage, I said I was going to do it. So let's do some of it. Okay. We're pausing on that. Sorry. Okay. 
Next item is some cute vintage dress. Okay, this is a brand CDC, and I think it stands for Karen with a C, Desiree and Co. What a fun tag. There's that. <clears throat> this is the style of dress that I, I believe Reformation has gone to the internet and sourced dresses like this to rip off and then sell dresses like this. The material feels the same, whatever this is. I don't know what you call this. This feels the same. I touched a lot of Reformation dresses in my day. This feels the same. It's the same style look. You're gonna get this one for a heck of a lot cheaper, but this is gonna actually be like a true vintage dress. And let's see, this would be one I would for sure, I was looking for the care tag. I can't find it right now. I would for sure list on Depop. I feel like that sort of crowd is gonna appreciate that sort of piece. Okay, next is, I have no idea what this is. I think this is just like a homemade dress. I don't know, I don't know if it's cute or not. It's got a fun pattern. And I think this is supposed to be a belt that they've pinned to the chest. And you can usually tell the age of a garment by its zipper. So this one is, I don't know. <laughs> but I could look it up because it is a metal zipper. It is a painted metal zipper and it says Tabit. And I know my vintage people are gonna tell me they're you're like instantly, you're like, oh yeah, Tabit, da, 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 da. So you can tell again, this just looks homemade. I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. Maybe it's not. Okay, next is a couple of things here. Is this a skirt or a dress? I think this is a dress. Uh, oh, it's the brand Nostalgia. I do pick this brand up when I see it. I think they make cute stuff. I don't know when Nostalgia was making pieces, 80s or 90s. One of the two, because that's what the dresses look like, 80s or 90s. Um, this one is missing a button. So I actually might see if what next time Liz is in. She's been on hiatus for a little bit. She's working on a separate project. That's the person who does my repairs. Hi, Liz, if you're watching. If Liz will put a button on here. It's not a hard fix, but I don't know where any needles are or buttons. That's not true. I know where buttons are. It's a size large. This is so cute. How fun is this? And it's got that little tie in the back. I'm going to say early nineties on this one because I was wearing stuff like this. I know that tie on the back. We all had that on a dress or two. Okay. Next is the brand John Richard, which I've seen this brand before. I don't know that it's anything like crazy special. There's a little made in USA tag. This one's John Richard maternity. This is a size six and I, I don't know. I thought it was cute. So it is missing like a little liner underneath here. I'm sure it's supposed to have one. Um, it's got this fun Peter Pan collar with this tie here. So you can make like another bow or something. I'm not sure, but I just thought it was, it gave me Wednesday Adam vibes, Wednesday Adam pregnant vibes, I guess. Okay. Next item is, I don't even know what this is. Is it another Handmade, homemade, whatever you call it piece. This one says Paquette. Famed for fit fashion fabric, Alfred Paquette, California. So I, I see this often at the bins. There'll be vintage pieces and it's like blah, 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 California. Blah, 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 California. So I don't know why. If somebody knows, like why, why were there all those vintage brands that came out that were called like of California? What does that mean? Is there like significant, there has to be significance. It's just this really pretty patterned blouse. I don't know. Is it pretty? Maybe that's not. I don't know. But I bought it. Okay. Another 90s piece is Necessary Object. This is 90s, right? Or is it Y2K? I wasn't sure. It's a size small. <sighs> yeah. I mean, this is very like, wear this with a pair of like combat boots or something with the lace at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a look. Um, What else do we have here? Oh, this. Okay, this is a jumper. Oh, it's a vintage DKNY, I think jumper. It's a size medium. Here it is. Oh no, dress? What would you call it, a, dr a jumper? Or dr it's a dress. Um, yeah, it's cute, it's sexy. It doesn't look like that formal, just given the material. I am gonna fabric shave it because there's some pilling on it, but I thought it was really pretty. Okay, next item is a vest, where is it? Oh yeah, okay, here it is. It's a brand Chego, I don't know what that is. Uh, Chego International, and it's just this really 
sweet embroidered kind of crossover sweater style vest. So I've been posting actually oh, on my Instagram, uh, what's it called? Instagram subscriptions. So that's like a thing on Instagram now. They have like a subscriptions feature. So I post extra information that I'm not posting to my regular Instagram there. But anyways, I've been talking on there, so here you go, about picking up vests. Um, vintage style vests, autumn colors, browns, neutral, stuff like that, embroidered pattern. You've probably seen them in hauls that I've done in the past few months, and those have actually been selling well. Um, so anyways, I keep mentioning every time I sell one, showing <clears throat> my followers on Instagram through the subscriptions feature, that you know, here's what they are, here's what they're selling for, here's what to be looking for. And then I've also posted articles about it because there have been articles talking about how it's just a fall fashion trend. And so if you're not up on that, go check it out. This is actually not vintage, but I just thought it had a fun vintage look. So I'm not gonna call it vintage, don't worry. I'm gonna call it retro. But look at this fun crop sweater and it's just forever 21. It's a size medium. Like, listen, someday give this thing 20 years, it'll be called vintage. But I just love this so much. I couldn't leave it behind. So cute. And last but not least, this is so amazing. So if you have made it to the end of this haul, you are popsicle material. This is a popsicle brand. Who knew they made clothes? Not me. Okay. Popsicle corduroy overalls with the heart on the front. It's a pocket. Oh yeah. But popsicle brand guys, this has got to be eighties. This just screams eighties to me. It's hundred percent cotton. And the size is, I can't even get the size tag to hold down. It's a size kid six. I mean, I love this so much that it makes me want to have a girl. I want to put someone in this. It's so cute. I don't even know if Popsicle brand stuff is worth a lot of money, but gosh darn it, it's adorable. So that's all the haul I can do for you today. It's what I have in me at now 5.34 p.m. and I have to go pick up my son soon. And I have this other pile of stuff that I still have to haul and show you guys, but at least I got this much done. I'm feeling very proud of myself in that way. So if you've made it to the 58 minute mark, or unless I edit down this video at all. But if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much, I really appreciate you. It's been so fun spending time with you and I will see you in my next video.